how a filmmaker is working with one of our smaller black communities after he was approached to tell their almost forgotten stories. When the first waves of immigrants arrived in the Caribbean in the 50s and 60s, they didn't settle evenly across the country. Some cities develop communities which have flourished. In Birmingham, for instance, 4.9% of the population is now Afro-Caribbean. But just a few dozen miles north in Stoke-on-Trent, the figure's 0.26%. That's just one in every 400 people. Ms Copper reports now on plans for a film about North Staffordshire's Caribbean community. These are stories which have been undocumented. Memories of arriving in England in the late 50s and early 60s and eventually settling here in Stoke-on-Trent. It was an era of post-war austerity. These streets became home, a place to begin a new life. When I came to Stoke-on-Trent and people were very sort of, you know, very open and wanted to know about you, and want, I thought they were nosy, because in those days we used that word nosy. <laughs> but it wasn't that, it was just that there was such a friendly set of people and even coming here as a, as a black person you felt at home. Also amongst those who settled in the potteries were Hyacinth Stone and her baby son Cornelius. Today they're sharing their stories at a community centre in the city. This film came about because the younger generation wanted their parents' contributions to be chronicled. Mother's full of stories of uh, the old days, I mean, so it's good to, it's all in her head, so nothing written down anywhere. So it's good that something like this is, you know, recording what was, what's gone on before, so it, uh, we can carry that forward sort of thing. Mm. The stories have been gathered by a local filmmaker, and the film coincides with an exhibition. All communities deserve a voice, and all communities deserve a profile. And this is like redressing a balance here. We have uh, giving a profile to this very important uh, community in our city as in any city. This film will ensure a piece of pottery's history won't be forgotten. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke on Trent. Great to see Cornelius mm, all grown up there, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, and that film's uh, showing tonight at 7.45 at the Stoke Film Theatre in association with the BBC's Real History Project. Right now, let's uh, find out what the weather's doing.